Brian Hummel here. Uh, I wanted to point out a couple of quick little things that any landowner can do on their property. Uh, if you if you line up rocks on contour, as the water comes down the hill, it acts like a little miniature beaver dam. And what ends up happening is the water ponds up here and soaks in. Um, you can find little, in the hill country, on caliche soils, you can find this stuff called Nasdaq. It's basically a blue-green algae. This is what's helping rebuild uh, really poor caliche soils. Uh, this had virtually no grass on it five years ago when I moved uh, to this property. Um, so then I laid out another line of rocks on contour and I came back on the uphill side of it and I covered it with mulch. So this mulch is slowly breaking down into, into soil, but what it really does is acts like a filter and the rocks don't let it wash away. So you can see the grass next to it is even healthier. Now for, for come a little bit further, This barren caliche soil is what that area we just came from looked like, uh, uh, again, about two, two years ago, really. Um, but I started this process about five years ago. The whole landscape around here looked like this bare caliche hillside. And uh, here's another spot where, again, laid down rocks on contour. Actually, here I laid, the, I laid the mulch down first, and I came back later, and I put rocks on contour. Uh, and you can come back. And you start, as you start building soil up here, you can plant all sorts of native plants. You can throw out wildflowers. I've got little uh, blue bonnets and stuff coming up. I just saw one. Oh, yeah. You have little blue bonnets coming up and reseeding, naturally reseeding. So uh, you set up a positive feedback loop, whereas the soil washes down off your hill, this acts like a dam, and you get these little delta deposits of soil and, uh, and uh, sediment and microdetritus. So you set up these long, skinny, gravity-irrigated pastures, and the grasses will absolutely respond. So it might not look that impressive now, but over time, this is going to be amazing. And uh, it's simple. You can do it too. Anybody can do it, and it works across, you know, it works anywhere where there's gravity. Because water always flows downhill. The mulch was free. The mulch came from uh, uh, the, the brush, the, the people that do grind up brush in the area and uh, they'll deliver it to me for free. Some of it I did have to pay for when I got huge trailers brought in, but it's somebody else's waste product that I turn into an amazing natural resource. Also, all of the energy from these trees is now staying on my property, so when you dig down into here, you find all sorts of insects, you find lots of little uh, mycelium for mushrooms, and this is basically re-bringing the life back to this soil um, after uh, there was some poor land management decisions in the past where a lot of our soil washed away. Uh, when it rains really hard, this caliche doesn't hold up hardly any soil at all. And you can see naturally these little microdetritus berms coming in where this grass is actually holding back a lot of soil. And uh, I think that's a really critical point. Anyway, talk to you guys later.